Hey, babe, get your question in the mail! Oh, jeez. All right, so we got this boat. It's the Traxxas M41. Uh, we're just kind of introducing it because we really have no idea about boats. Uh, I know it can go on chlorine. Um, I know gotta just gotta rinse it off afterwards. Mm -hmm. The pool is way too uh, small for this boat. This does 50 plus miles per hour. Um, I love the paint job on it. Oh, I know. I, I wouldn't change the paint job at all. And the interior, I don't know if you guys can see it. But there's four, five, six seats. So Darth Vader, Kylo Ren, Stormtroopers, all that stuff. Sorry if you guys are blinded by my Irish skin. Not my nice tan though. <laughs> but uh, with that said, um, we're gonna be taking it to the lake pretty soon here. Uh, but let me go over some stuff that's on the inside of it real quick. Oh, and by the way, I did figure out through thorough testing that this is a waterproof vehicle. You wanna hold on to that, babe? Oh, I gotta get a floaty. <laughs> yes. Don't stick it in the water right now if it's not waterproof. That smells like new shoes. Nope, smells like a boat. It smells okay. like new shoes. So, one thing, uh, try, or one thing Max Amps did for me was they stuck on some, uh, what are these called, the XT90s? Yeah, XT90 connectors. Uh, because we bought the Nero at the same time, I wanted to be able to use the exact same batteries. So we got some Max Amps batteries, which I'll be showing you at the uh, in a little bit here that we got for it. Um, it does come, it does run on 6S, the uh, system that's in it right now. I don't know if it's good. I don't know about electronics and boats. Um, is the VXL 6S uh, Marine Waterproof Brushless ESC. So pretty freaking cool and it's dual hold so it won't flip as easy as a Spartan but it will flip um, this is our very first boat I'm not sure if you can change out props to make them faster or whatnot because I know on other boats you can change out like on real boats you can change because I do have we do have our own wakeboarding boat but uh, if you change the props on regular boats you get more torque so you get more you know up and at them but I don't know how that, if, that, that's how, if that's how it works on RC boats or not um, this will be a fun learning experience because we've never had it. It'll be a very fun learning experience, but the paint job I absolutely love. Everything's super cool looking. Come up here and try and show you. I can't see the camera angle here, but... I think that's too close. Back up. No, raise your arms up high. There we go. I think that might be good. The back is really cool looking. Very, very cool looking. So, let me go get, uh, take this, put it back, let's see if it, let's see if it'll, if I push it, how fast it'll go. Push what? The boat. Oh, you want to push the boat? Yeah. You want a noodle just swim around? First running video of the boat. Right here, guys. If I can get the clip in. Alright. Running video. Yep, it goes through the water well. No, 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 no. I was trying to stop it from crashing. It's not going to hurt. Oh, I got caught it's going to hit the, other things, Jamara. I got caught on the decon. But anyway, we absolutely love this thing. We can't get away to be out on the water. We were going to take it out today, but we found out one of the local lakes cannot be used right now. And, uh, well, things are dying it and stuff, so pretty probably not a good idea. Um, well, that's it, guys. Let me get the other stuff out of the box, and I'll show you the Max Amps batteries we're going to be using. And we'll call it an unboxing. Uh, not a very thorough one, to say the least, but uh, like it's I said. It's a boat. It's a boat. It floats. It goes in water and it drives. Uh, kind of like a car. It goes on land and you put it down and you pull the trigger and it moves. Alright, so uh, I'm back. We got our uh, package. I don't know how close I am to this camera, but we got our Max Amps batteries. I'm not going to stick these babies in chlorine because I don't know how batteries fare in chlorine, but uh, they are the 11.1 uh, .1 volt 6000. Yeah, the 6000 XL MAH. Plenty, plenty of Runtime I'm hoping on this thing and uh, plenty of power. Like I said, 50 plus miles per hour with this thing should be a lot of fun. Um, let me put these away real quick. And we got a bag of stuff. So we got your, I got the manual I'll right there. We got 
You get, it comes with a boat stand, so you can stick can it up. It huh? I can hold this thing. Okay, it comes with a mo or boat stand, or yeah, stand for the boat. Comes with an extra prop. That's why I was asking about the extra prop thing. What? I'm holding on to the. I, I, I don't trust you with it. I was trying to hold it for you. And it comes with some tools, uh, some extra body clips that are in with the propeller. Comes with something I probably should have put in here before I jumped in the pool. Some rain grease. Uh, so I got to read up on this thing, but didn't really want to do it. Just kind of wanted to have a fun unboxing for you guys. And your strut height, which I have no idea what that is, but it's for measuring your strut height, something I'm definitely going to have to look into. Uh, also, in the boat, there's different positions for the battery to have. You, I, I, I believe you can move the straps back and forth to have more weight in the back or more weight in the front. I'm just going to go with the stock configuration for now, guys. And I say that is our unboxing video. And yeah, anything else to say? Don't pee in this water. Well, I'm not going to pee in the water. I um, did that. Anything else you have to say? I don't know you. Yeah. Anything else you have to say about it? I don't have anything to say. Nothing? I'm, a, I'm really excited to put a GoPro on it. It's going to be fun. And then we we got to get one of the floaty like things for the GoPro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Lake Roosevelt is where we're uh, planning on taking it, and it is gorgeous there. It's gonna be so. Yeah, it's going to be gorgeous. It's going to be really Hopefully cool. have the drone license by then. Uh, so I can fly it over Lake Roosevelt and you know take the drone, get some footage of Lake Roosevelt and the boat just hauling ass across that beautiful lake. So with that said guys, I think that's it and we'll see you on the next one. See ya. Later.